Hey all you cool cats and kittens. Much like everyone else, I feel I am living in a Silent Hill game as I remain quarantined in my home. But today I'm going to share with you my favorite apps I use to remain sane and avoid reenacting that scene from The Shining. You know the one. So stay tuned if you'd like to take a peep at my iPhone. We are now switching to phone cam. So this is my setup. As you can see, I have mostly my social media on the front page. But let's go to the meat and potatoes of the iPhone and start with games. I really should be embarrassed of the type of games that I play. I'm not really a gamer type of person, which is why I can tolerate small chunks of app games. There are only a couple of, or a few games that I play, and one of them is Choices. So the, if you don't know, Choices is one of these games where it's like you choose your own adventure, and it's typically meant for a younger audience. But I can't resist this storyline. As you can see, there's only one game in particular that I play, and it's called Bloodbound. So Bloodbound is a vampire related storyline. It revolves around this girl. You play this girl who's like a secretary and it turns out her boss is a vampire. And so naturally she forms a forbidden love with this guy. And and throughout the games it, their relationship develops, I guess, but I have played this game so much throughout the years that I am now on the third book of Bloodbound. So I play this game on and off again, depending on how bored I am. And I've been pretty bored with the quarantine. So I am now on chapter nine of the third Bloodbound. So there are more than one type of choose your own adventure type games. There's also one called Episodes. I downloaded episodes originally after seeing a an episode of Jenna Jenna Marbles where she was making fun of these things but I like the the choices one because it's more story uh story bound and there's a lot more dialogue so as you can see they give you a little synopsis of what's taking place they uh it's all stills and, and I named my character Buffy, of course, and right now she looks a bit like a dominatrix because that was one of her costumes to go incognito and to break into the vampire lair. But, but anyway, the third one's all about how she is trying to overcome the vampire, the evil vampires that are destroying New York. And it's your job to, like, take them down. And you have all these, like, other vampires that are helping you out. So, yeah, like most storylines, you, you start out as human. And it's like, will she or will she not be turned? And, of course, uh, spoiler alert, your character gets turned eventually by the third one. Alright, so that's enough of that. The next one I play is Coin Dozer. Yeah, I'm ashamed to admit that I've played this way too often. <laughs> Don't be fooled by the whole uh, potential for getting an Amazon prize. I have yet to do it, and I've been playing this like crazy. I mostly play it because I like the fact that it has puzzles. So, so if you click on puzzles, they have all these little different arcade things, and they drop pieces that look just like the pictures uh, so they'll drop like a teddy bear or a frog or a flamingo and your job is to dump it into the pit by using coins so it's really stupid but it's a guilty pleasure of mine the other one is pretty typical uh, words with friends I play this one mostly with my family so that I can uh, just stay in contact with them and let's see so I can stay in contact with them and just you know have something fun to do let's just continue to bond during this 
So it, it keeps us bonded, you know? So it's one of those fun games to play when you're trying to hang out with the family while remaining socially distant or whatever. And of course, let's go ahead to social media. So I follow a lot of Buffy accounts as well as like um, just, uh, oh, Barbie accounts too, fashion accounts, uh, memes, that sort of thing. So my username is Bottle Blonde Gal. I post pretty much anything girly and Sarah Michelle Geller related. Those are typically my favorite things to post. Uh, it'd be really cool if you followed me. And as you can see, I've, I've gotten better at editing my photos. I finally downloaded Lightroom. I didn't realize that one was free. So I finally found a free app that I can use to edit my photos. And I have presets that I use to create this pretty pinkish look to them. And that's my kitty, Boo. And the chunk of my time is spent on YouTube. So mostly I watch YouTube on my computer. Occasionally I use the app if I'm away from my computer. So there's a few accounts that I follow just to hate watch. Like I'm not a fran big fan of Brittany. I think she's an annoying human being. But I sometimes watch her videos because I'd like to know what weird thing she's up to today. And I like Peter Mon. I'm not a big fan of Chantel. I kind of hate watch her too. I like Jeffree Star. I love Breland. She, I know she trolled for the longest time. But she has this new account where she's she does all these story times and is now pretty cool so i highly encourage you to follow brelin and i like glam planner because i'm really into planner related videos and content and stickers overall and there's a podcast that's really good too the gus and eddie podcast they're really good to follow oh and of course i gotta follow my trisha paytas And that's pretty much it. So that's another one that really is good for like uh, boredom, of course. You can't go wrong with YouTube. So I also have the Kindle app somewhere. I think it's on my computer. But a book I would encourage you to read is World War Z. I plan to reread it in the near future because it is one of my favorites. It's a zombie type book and it is very good. So it's kind of like what we're dealing with now, except for they have a virus that turns people into zombies. So if you like those type of books, I would encourage you to read that. I forgot to tell you all this. So one of the things that I like to do to put myself in a better mindset is just take a picture a day. So... What I do is I have, as you can see here, I have a tab dedicated to self-isolation. And in there, I have all my selfies and I label it by day, see? So, so doing something as simple as putting on makeup and making yourself feel more presentable does a number for the psyche. So it just overall puts you in a better mood. So if you're ever in a slump and you just don't want to do anything or face the world, I encourage you to just get dressed up. You don't even have to go anywhere. I'm not going anywhere and I'll put on a full face of makeup and just take a selfie. And that puts me in a better mood because I feel better about myself. So, uh, so that's one of the main reasons I do the picture a day during quarantine it just overall puts me in a better mood to to look nice because it makes me feel better about myself and yeah so that's one thing I would recommend 
I hope this helped you out and gave you all a little bit of something to think about as far as ways to put your turn your mood around. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.